Hello and welcome. You're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Abigail R. Karmalim bringing to you the Slation News across the globe. In the tranquility of Mount Don Bosco, Kathagiri, the meeting of the Slations in their quinquennium from Chennai and Trichy provinces took place from 21st to 22nd July with a total of 46 participants. The first day opened with the celebration of the Eucharist and morning prayer led by the Vice Provincial of Chennai, Father John Alexander. A lively discussion followed with the participants divided into different groups talking about the joys and challenges inherent in Salesian priestly life. It was an enriching moment of exchange and mutual understanding. The day ended with the good night offered by Father Ajilan Sarprasadam, superior of the Salesian province of Trichy. On the second day of the meeting, a round table was held led by Father Alexander, during which Father Sarpra Saramp and Father Bosco Lodosami, superior of the province of India, Chennai, also spoke. The group discussed Salesian religious life, focusing on community experiences. The exchange of experiences and the outlining of the expectations of the young Salesians gave rise to a rich and transparent conversation. The event therefore provided the priests with an exemplary platform to share ideas, learn and grow, greatly enriching their spiritual journey individually and collectively. On the final evening of 22nd July, the 2023 edition of the Grass Summer Group of the Slations, Ragusa ended with a participation of about 1,000 people, including young people, leaders, educators and families in an evening of joy and fraternity. Life as a King was the motto of Grass 2023, inspired by the famous cartoon, The Lion King, and which took place from 15 June to 22 July. The Grass, coordinated by Salesian's Father Enrico Frasteri Chiachiera, Director of the Oratory, and Father Orazio Moschetti, a young Salesian student of theology in Messina, involved 60 young animators, aged 15 and over, who lifted spirits for 140 children at the mini grass in the morning and 350 older youth at the grass in the afternoon. The four grass teams were engaged in challenges and games but also in workshops and formation activities, sports and lots of fun. The summer activities proposed by the Slation to Oratory at Bragusa also concerned families so that the children could experience moments of leisure and happiness with their parents. Several trips took place during the summer activities. Four Salations from South Western Africa Province AOS made their perpetual profession on Sunday 23rd July at the Parish of Mary Help of Christians in Benazi, Lome. Father Dennis Soro, the superior of the AOS province, was the main celebrant at the Eucharistic celebration. During the homely, he recalled the meaning and implications of perpetual profession for the consecrated person. The Salesian cooperators from the St. Dominic Savio Centre in Bellflower have supported the St. Dominic Savio Summer Camp, which takes place at the centre and is intended for disadvantaged children of the community. In particular, on 11 July, the Salesian cooperators, meeting together in the kitchen, prepared many sandwiches to give to the young participants in the summer camp. The latter is also always open to receive food and other donations, which are then shared with the children who attend it. On 21st July, 58 young people concluded their experience of youth volunteering. The Salesian family Ecuador, VJMFS in Spanish, volunteer experience. It concluded with an emotional Eucharistic celebration and a formation, prayer and meditation meeting on the theme of being salt and light of the world. The experience has left them with deep personal growth and the certainty that their dedication and service can make a difference in today's world. During the closing meeting, the young people made it clear that volunteering has left an indelible mark on their lives as they have discovered a deep meaning in serving others and have experienced how generous dedication can fill life with joy. The certainty that God accompanies them, sustains them and gives fullness to their existence further strengthens their commitment to be life and hope for today's world. In addition, during the event, it was joyfully announced that four young people will become part of the station to Aspirante, taking another step in their journey of formation and vocational discipline. Finally, the day was an opportunity to greet Father Marcelo Tigrero, who concluded his assignment as Delegate for Vocational Missionary and Volunteer Animation. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.